This is a really cool thing that we've got to introduce here at PRI. We've got 15% more cooling surface area on our air to water billet intercoolers that work with our Holly high and low ram intakes. So tell me about it. Uh, so what we've done is we've taken our, our standard profile intercoolers, what we call it, it's our five inch thick based uh, intercooler setup. Uh, and we've kind of improved it. So we've went back and we've redesigned our plates uh, and we've redesigned our tanks in an effort to accept a larger core. Uh, what we were able to do is put a longer core um, in the same footprint. So we've literally got the, the physically the biggest core that we could put in the holly opening now. Uh, whereas before we had a little bit more room to grow, so we've went back and we've got a core um, specifically for this application instead of just something that you can buy as a part number. We've specifically had this made uh, and it's about 15% bigger than the than the old style when it comes to surface area and cooling ability. Right on, and so we, Matt was able to do the math. It's a little bit more complicated math than I thought when we were yeah. getting that 15% figure, and then incorporates the entire cooling surface area. So this should work a lot more efficiently. It should cool a lot better. Yes, yes, it uh, should in theory be more efficient. Um, you know, the math the math tells you that it will be. Um, it has a larger opening for air to pass through it. Uh, so. It has the capability to be more efficient at a higher horsepower number. Uh, so you know, with intercoolers, uh, you can rate them at a certain number, um, and it's going to get that much airflow through it. But it's not going to efficiently cool it all the way to those peak numbers that it has the ability to flow. Uh, with this, it's going to give it a little more ability to do its cooling job. Right on. You're not sacrificing any of the surface area, really. All we're really doing is now the plates just come slightly outward. And honestly, if I didn't have one to compare it, where I'm standing right here, I see absolutely no difference. Because it's just a minor, what, about a half inch? Yeah, it's about an inch on each side. So it pushes the tank out a full inch on each side. And we went back and we redesigned the tank to be a little more low profile because of that. Uh, so, so it's not protruding so far. But you know, it's not, like you say, it's not much that's, that's actually sticking out in the yeah. way of anything. Um, so this is a uh, bigger core. It's going to take some new machining, yep. which will in turn cause the manufacturing process to be a little bit more expensive. Is that right? Yeah, it is going to be just a touch more expensive. Um, and the core itself is a little more expensive because it's uh, more of a custom core. Uh, so yeah, it, it will be just a touch more expensive. Do you have any idea how much yet? Uh, yeah, I think we're going to be in the neighborhood of about 30 to 40 more dollars. So it's not, you know, it's not a, uh, oh my gosh, this is going up so much. It's, it's really, we're just going to eat the cost of the manufacturing process um, because we wanted to be able to offer a better product. Right on. And so according to your and I's research, this is the largest core in this in this uh, air to water configuration on the market, right? That's correct. Yeah, no one no one's offering a core that's uh, taking up the entire opening like we are. And um, you can run a uh, a full size like this, or when you uh, to give you guys a reference of what Matt was referring to earlier, saying our full size. So this is the first intercooler that we've had now for how many years have we been manufacturing this? I really don't know. <laughs> it's been a while. Been so a while. And we've uh, been upgrading it a lot with the billet ends, but we introduced this here about a year ago, the uh, smaller version. So this is our 1400 horsepower version and our 1700 horsepower version. However, those numbers are not a strict, for instance, I'm running 750 to the tire on my application yeah. with a Vortec front mounted blower, and I'm running a full size intercooler with a high ram just because I want that look. And uh, it works really great for me. Um, street application, street strip application in my instance. So um, again, these are rated to 1700, right? That's correct. And um, they are live on our site and all of our full size intercoolers are going to this new core from now on. Yep, yep, all the new, uh, all the coolers from now on that are the regular profile are gonna be this version. Uh, so if you've bought one and you're watching this video and you're waiting on one to show up, you're getting the new version. Right on. So thank you guys for watching. We're here at PRI 2021 and uh, check out the website to learn more.